Thank you so much, Tara. We're here in our back parking lot, and right now we are going to bust the five top car myths. We're going to be joined by Howard in just a bit, helping you keep your car running smoothly. I always love being outside talking cars with Howard. You have taught me a lot over the last year and a half on the weekend show. Uh, so this morning, you are kind of myth-busting five yeah. big myths in the car world. The first one is you've got to warm up your engine before driving. If you remember, you probably don't remember, but I remember my dad telling me when I started driving, you got to warm up your car, you got to do this, got to do that, how to take care of it. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> The vehicles of today, because of the great uh, viscosities and the new oils and the, more, the engines they've built, you can warm up your car by driving it. In fact, it's better to do that and get it up to operating temperature where everything's functioning properly. Okay, busting bust one myth. Yep. Uh, we're going to talk about tires because a lot of times, right, when you think <clears throat> about tire pressure, you think you have to do it to a certain number, right? I've been through this many times, but... People look at the side of the tire and they yes. see where it says maximum pressure. I think this one is 60 pounds, 65 pounds. And that's what you think you have to go by, right? Well, yeah, and, and that is the maximum pressure for that tire, but it has nothing to do with your automobile. Huh. So you have to go to your automobile and see what the manufacturer states. I don't know if you want to take a shot of the... Show us where that's at. So it's right not the about the tire, it's about the manufacturer. Right. Right inside the door panel, it tells you exactly what your tire pressure should be. And that gives you the proper footprint, and it'll give you the best mileage. And another thing with tires, myth number three, you have to replace all four tires at the same time. So that's false? Well, yeah, that's false. <laughs> there are a couple vehicles out there, like there's Jeep for a couple years that uh -huh. had to have within four thirty seconds, or it would cause some problems. But it's all about the quality of the tire and the condition of the tire. If your tires are all wearing out at the same time, replace all four. If you just need one and the others are still in good shape, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. No. Saving us some money. Yep. The other thing is the oil change. You know, I remember growing up when I first got my car, my dad said every 3,000 miles, you yep. got to get that changed. And that's not the case anymore. No, it's over. In fact, <laughs> we have some manufacturers saying 10,000 miles, and wow. I won't go that far. Okay. Uh, we recommend 5,000 miles on most vehicles. But you've got new oils again, new tolerances on the engines. They will go a lot further. But remember, when you're going in for that oil change, you're also getting the vehicle service, probably a tire rotation, and the technician can give you a true evaluation of where you're at. Also like to note, we're seeing a little deception out there in our industry. I'm seeing people advertise um, synthetic oil change, $29.95. Mm -hmm. Well, full synthetic oil cost us $8 a quart. You don't buy that for $29.95. Every oil manufactured today has synthetic in it to some level. So they're advertising synthetic because it has some synthetic. Make sure if it calls for full synthetic, you demand full synthetic. And so it won't be $29.95. It won't be $29.99. You can't get it for under $30. Bucks. So before we go, we've got the gas tank over here. When you fill up your car, some people swear by this. Oh, i got to get the fancy gas, right? I'm not that person. I always get the basic one, but you've got to get the premium. Is that true? Today's automobile will tell you what octane you need. 95% of the vehicles on the road are set up to run on 87% octane. If you have a high performance vehicle, a luxury vehicle, the manufacturer's going to tell you. Uh huh. You, you have need the, the premium, stuff. right? Yep. But if they don't tell you that, you're wasting your money. It's going to cost you $100 a year to stay in the premium category, and you don't need to be. I like having extra $100 in That's my right. pocket. Thank you, Howard. We appreciate you coming out this morning. Thank you. Uh, doing a little myth busting for us on this Sunday morning. Guys, we are going to take a quick break. More Good Morning Arizona coming up.